Okay, welcome to another tutorial about Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, I'm going to go through the basic layout of this program and also give you some useful keyboard shortcuts. Um, this video is really designed for absolute beginners of the program, uh, people who have never used Adobe Premiere Pro to edit before. So if you fall into that camp, you're in the right place. Um, however, just be aware that this is actually the second video in a series. The first goes through how to properly set up a project in Adobe Premiere Pro, how to get your screen looking like this, and also how to organize your files in a neat and tidy manner like down here. Um, there should be a link in the description of this video to that initial video of how to set up your project. Assuming you've watched that, let's dive right in. So basically um, what we have here is this is Adobe Premiere Pro and there's four different boxes. There's the bottom left box. This is where all our original files live. And as you already know, I have organized my files to be video images and audio. Over in the bottom right, we have the timeline. This is where we make edits to our clip the top right is the viewfinder. This is where we view uh, the completed edits to our clips. And the top left is the source monitor. That's a little more complicated. We'll get to that later. So our editing process at the moment is going to go from the bottom left to the bottom right to the top right, as in original, edits, finished product. Ignore this part for the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an original video file. Um, click on it and drag it over into my edit plane, the timeline. Now, when I do that, you immediately see that the image just got a little more pretty because now we actually have something to look at. Uh, this is a band rehearsing in Brazil who uh, kindly allowed me to shoot some overlay of them rehearsing. Uh, they also have fantastic music. So if you're interested, maybe I'll throw a link to the band in the description of this YouTube video as well for you to listen to. All right, so um, most of what I'm gonna talk about is happening down here. But the most uh, important key probably in Adobe Premiere Pro is Spacebar because Spacebar, when we are down here in this box, will play the video. And as I play the video, you'll see that we actually get to see what the original video looks like in our viewfinder up the top. If I press space again, it will stop the video. Play, stop. So that's Spacebar, super important. Now, when I press play, some other things are going on. This blue uh, line is moving in real time to the entire clip. Uh, we have a timer up here that's counting up again in real time, seconds, so we know how far into the clip we are. And also over on the right here, we have an audio monitor. I'm gonna do an entire video just on audio because it's so important. So let's ignore that for the moment, but that's basically what's going on here. We have our audio going up and down in time with the beat. So I'm going to stop that. Um, so spacebar, super important, uh, an essential keyboard shortcut to learn. But there's another one that's equally important, um, and I want to tell you it right from the outset, and that is Command Z. I'm using a Mac, Command Z. If you press Command and Z at the same time, it is the undo shortcut. So basically what that means is if you make a mistake, which you'll do often, um, for instance, I am going to click and select this entire clip and press delete, disappears. I could panic, but I don't because I know the keyboard shortcut Command and Z, undo that previous action and I get whatever, uh, uh, whatever the last state was, and I get my information back. So Command Z is a super, super important thing to understand. Right, so space and Command Z. Now, um, what else do I want to talk about in this edit plane? Well, let us let me discuss some of the buttons that are probably useful for a beginner. Um, up here we have a timeline that obviously represents the time to, of the clip. Uh, that's in minutes and seconds. Over here we have these uh, letters and numbers, V3, V2, V1, A1, A2, A3. V stands for video. So basically we have video track one, video track two, video track three, and audio track one, audio track two, audio track three. Um, this clip has one video track and one audio track, right? Um, as most clips do. Why would we want extra audio and video tracks? Well, maybe you want to have multiple videos 
on top of each other, so like split screen, or more likely you're going to want more multiple audio tracks, as in an audio track for, let's say, natural sound on your camera and music. So that's why you have extra um, tracks here for video and audio. I'm just going to delete that. Um, you can actually get more than three if you want, um, but uh, you can Google that because that's a bit more advanced than you probably need to know right now. Um, another thing that I'd like to introduce you to in terms of this edit plane is just how to navigate around clips. So basically this blue uh, line here, if you click on it and hold, you can move this around with your mouse cursor. That's useful, but most professional editors uh, won't use the mouse actually that much. They'll use the keyboard. So the way to achieve the same thing with a keyboard is uh, the, the keys J and L on the keyboard. If you press L, it's going to play, but if you double press L, you'll get fast forward, and if you triple press L, it'll be super fast forward. The same with J, but in reverse. So J is rewind, double J, faster rewind, Triple J, super fast rewind. And then you can press K to stop if you want to. Um, also, if you want to go slow-mo, you can press J and K. That's slow-mo. And also, if you want to go reverse slow-mo, you can press J and K. And you go in the opposite direction. Um, Another thing to uh, know about navigating this is just using zoom because I find that it's much easier to make edits when you are zoomed in. To zoom in, just press the plus sign on your keyboard and you'll zoom right in so you can get very precise. Um, you can also press the minus sign and zoom right out. If you ever get lost in your zooms, uh, say you're zoomed right in and you don't even know where you are on the screen anymore, just press backspace and it will fill the screen. Right, so the basic idea of editing a video is basically you are making cuts and moving pieces around in order to tell uh, a logical visual story. Um, to do that, we need to know how to make cuts. Um, over here, you have a few different buttons. You can ignore all of them for the moment, except for the first one, which is Selection Tool, which is what we're on right now. That basically means you can select things. Um, but I'm going to go down and move that to the Razor Tool. This is how we can make cuts. So. I can find a part of my clip. I'm going to use the keyboard now. Um, let's say I want to make a cut there. I move this razor down and cut. I'm also just, for argument's sake, going to make a cut there and there. If you were doing a professional video, you'd probably look before you start making cuts, but um, for a tutorial video, I don't really need to. So I've got four cuts there. I'm going to move this back to the pointer, and now I can select these different uh, parts of the video and move them around. I could move it, move that part over here. I could move it and overlay another part. I'll press Command Z. I could, and Command Z again, just to get it back. Um, I could select it and delete it. Um, and that's basically how you edit. You make a cut, you make a new section of a video, and then you drag it around, delete it, move it around until you are starting to tell a story of lots of different cuts. Um, another thing to realize what you can do is with this mouse cursor, you can hover over the start or the end of a cut and drag it. So you can make that shorter, you can make it longer, you can make it, if you move this out, you can make it much longer. Um, just remember, Command Z gets you back to how you started if you ever need to. Um, I'll make some more random cuts. Um, as your project gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it starts to take up minutes and minutes, um, this can get really, really cumbersome to navigate just with a mouse. So I recommend learning some more keyboard shortcuts and that is with the arrow keys. If you press down or up on the keyboard, you'll go to wherever those exact cuts are. Down will get you to the cut uh, to the right, up will get you to the cut on the left. Um, that's so much easier to navigate to those cuts than it is to try and precisely move the cursor. So you just press down and up. Also, if you ever want to move forward or backwards by a single frame, just press the left and the right keys. 
All right, uh, some more advanced tips uh, for those of you who are still with me and still want to learn more. Um, another handy trick that I like to do is I edit a lot uh, by looking at the audio of, of a clip and you can see those audio waveforms there, but they're kind of small at the moment to see. So what I like to do with all my clips is I just move this cursor in between A1 and A2, that's track audio one and track audio two, and I click and drag this down just to make those audio uh, waveforms so much easier to see. And then I can actually see where breaks in the audio happen, where there might be a good place to do a cut. I can already see one there. If I zoom in, I can see that the audio kind of tapers off right there. So right here might be a great place to make a cut, for instance. Um, so that's one little trick. Another trick is to start using the source monitor. And this is like super, uh, not super advanced, but it is more advanced that you need to know as an absolute beginner. Um, as an absolute beginner, you can just make cuts and edits here by using the razor and um, moving these clips around like this. And you don't actually have to use the source monitor, but in case you want to know what the point of this is and why it takes up a quarter of the real estate of this program, I'll explain that now as well. Um, if you don't want to know what about this, then feel free to stop watching the video now. So I'm going to press Command Z and we'll just get back to our original state of being. Cool. So this source monitor refers to uh, these original clips here. It's just basically a way to look at the original clips without having to use the edit space. So I'm gonna double click on this clip and it will appear up here in the source monitor. Then you have this blue pointer here, which you can drag to review and look at the original clip. Um, all the keyboard shortcuts that I've already talked about work in this box as well, so space, play, L, fast forward, J, rewind. Now, this isn't just for viewing, this is actually to pick certain parts of a clip that you want to move down to the edit space. So, um, let's say I really like, and I do really like, <laughs> um, I like when the camera here moves from the drummer to the guitarist, and I only want this little part of a clip. So what I'm gonna do is I need to set an in and an out point on this clip to tell the program that, hey, I really want this little part, this two second part, and I want it down here. So I'm gonna press I for in, and then I'm gonna press space to play, and I'm gonna press space to stop right there, and then I'm gonna press O for out. So I've set an in point, an out point, and it's highlighted that probably two seconds or so of the clip, and now I want to tell the program, hey, I want to move this down there. The way you do that is with these two buttons here. You have insert and overwrite. They're your two options. Uh, the difference is if I press insert, this part of the clip is just going to pop up there. Not overwrite anything, it's just going to pop up. So I've got four different examples of that clip now popping up. And it will just repeat again. Um, overwrite does the opposite, it will overwrite whatever's there. So if I keep overwriting, I'm going to lose my original clips there. Um, why is using this useful? Well, let's say for argument's sake, delete all that, let's move this back so we start from scratch. Let's say for argument's sake, I have, uh, let's, let's get rid of this middle part move this over. Let's say that this is the start of a video, this is the end of a video, and I really want this two second portion right there. Um, there's a few different ways to achieve it, but the easiest way is just to move this blue cursor to that cut. How do you get it to the cut precisely? Press up or down on the keyboard. Um, now I've got that blue line right in the middle, exactly. And then, hey, I want this two second clip right in between those two, and I press insert, boom, and it's right there. Um, so this source monitor allows you to get super precise with your cuts. But if you're just doing something really, really basic, you can probably just get away with using the razor tool and the extender tool and making your cuts like that. For instance, if I really wanted that cut here, I could just select it, move it over, move that next to it, and it achieves the same result in the end. Okay, um, 
I hope that that helps you in terms of the basic uh, workflow of how to make edits. I've got lots more tutorial videos on this channel to help you with more advanced techniques and hopefully I'll see you soon.